Hey gals and guys, this is War Turtle from Lexi's Help Desk, and today I'm going to walk you through running the Dark Base Issue Reporter as part of building your NPC Retexture Merge. Now, at this point, you've hopefully already run Prepare Merge to create the list of plugins that you need uh, prior to the merging, and you've hopefully also run the NPC plugin chooser correctly uh, and have the correct assets there. Um, so now let's go ahead and run uh, DFIR, the dark face issue reporter. So the first thing that you need to do um, is make sure that you've actually installed the script as part of the prerequisite page um, on Lexi's guide. Um, now the the next thing though we, that we have to do is right here we have to download this ignore file and so um, it, dark face issue reporter comes with two different any files one is the main any file and one is this ignore any file and it has a list of all of the NPCs that we don't want to check for various reasons one we know that they're broken two they don't actually have a face so uh, they're not gonna have the files to create a face and so dark face issue reporter will think that they're busted when actually they work just fine. So download this file uh, and when you do, extract it wherever you installed uh, xedit and put it in the edit scripts folder. So for me, uh, it's here in modding, SSE edit, and edit scripts. So if I scroll down, you can see here that I've got both the any file, the script file, and the ignore file. Now. Um, if you look at the instructions, we have to edit the actual any file, not the ignore. So let's look at that. Um, you need to change these lines, okay? If they're not there, add them. And uh, what, it, what these settings are going to do is, one, it'll create a log of all of the problems that it finds. That can be helpful for debugging. Second, if it finds a NPC that is broken and has dark face, it's actually going to create a file that you can use to spawn them all at once in-game to test them. It can be really useful for troubleshooting. Um, and lastly, it's going to create a plugin called darkfacecollector.esp that has all of the broken records. That way you can save it and go back to it over time if you're trying to troubleshoot and figure out what's going on. Okay. I'm going to close that. Uh, if you want to see what's inside the ignore file, you can see uh, there are some plugins that Darkface Issue Reporter knows it shouldn't uh, look at, um, and then also certain races uh, it knows don't have faces. So that's uh, why those are all there. Okay, so let's go ahead and run the script. From Mod Organizer 2, you need to make sure a couple things. First, make sure that you are on your merge profile, okay, not your main profile. Second, um, you can make sure that you've actually created uh, the list of plugins using prepare merge um, and make sure that the NPC appearance output is active in the left pane and that it's loading last. Okay, uh, all of these things have to be true in order for this to work. So, um, what, what, what you're going to do is in the executable bar, go make sure you see SSE edit and go ahead and run. Um, as Mod Organizer 2 loads this, uh, you'll see a list of all of the modules. Now, you need to load them all, okay? A lot of people don't do that. They only load some of them. Um, I've already built some scenarios, um, so I'm, I'm going to load those for us to look at uh, in a moment. Once you go ahead uh, and load, wait until uh, 1 the mod group uh, prompt comes up. Um, with our guide, we don't use mod groups, so you can always just uh, click OK on this. You'll then see background loader finished. Now, um, what the next step, uh, as I pull up the website so we can see, is you need to highlight the base ESMs, the USSCP, and 3D NPC. Okay? And those are the files that we're going to check because those are the ones that have NPCs in them that we care about. So left click Skyrim and then go down here to uh, the unofficial Skyrim special edition patch, hold down shift and left click and you'll highlight all of those things. If for some reason uh, the in 3D NPC is loading after the unofficial patch, that's fine. Just make sure they're all highlighted. The order here doesn't really matter. When you do that, right click and choose apply script. 
Um, here under the script, there's a list of all the different scripts that XEdit has. You should see Dark Face Issue Reporter show up. Um, if you don't, it's because you didn't install it in the correct spot and you need to close XEdit and fix that. Um, once you highlight it, go ahead and click OK and you will get this prompt. Um, we are going to choose number two, run only for the selected files or records. Okay. Once you click this, the script will start and it'll probably take, uh, you know, 10 to 15 minutes actually to do the whole thing. Um, just let it do its work. Um, and when it's done, it'll give you a message down here uh, that says uh, it's all finished. Um, so let's look at a few examples of what you're supposed to see and then something that's broken and how to troubleshoot it. So the first one we'll look at is this one. So if, if you run DFIR and everything is fine and there are no broken NPCs, what you will see is this. You'll see the only contents of this file is a file header, okay, and nothing else. This is what you want to see. If you see this, you win. All you have to do is close XEdit. You can delete the ESP. You don't have to save it and then move on uh, to the next step of the guide by building your merge. Um, Okay, let's look uh, at some other scenarios. So let's say that instead of, uh, well, so first off, let's say, let's just find something that's broken, right? And you'll see that instead of just being the file header, you'll see this row non-player character actor, right? You should never see this. And if you open this, in this case, we see a whole bunch of different NPCs, all of whom if you were to spawn them in game, would have dark face. Now, when, when you're testing in game, you need to make sure that you disable face discoloration fix. That's a plugin that will make the dark face bugs go away, but it, it, it's kind of just like paint uh, over uh, a rusty car, right? Um, it may look nice, but it's still broken underneath because uh, all it does is it reverts to vanilla textures, and, and that's not what you want. So, um, so if, if we look at this, um, let's just pick someone, uh, Hen Henrietta Entius II, um, and, and you'll see over on the right side, uh, the, in this case, there's the plugin it comes from, interesting NPCs, and then this is just the dark base collector that is saved, okay? So if you scroll down, you'll eventually see this head parts. This is the row that you care about when you're looking for dark face. Um, and in this case, uh, you know, we want to make sure first that the head parts from the plugin that we want to win, we want interesting NPCs to win, makes it into the rightmost column, which it does. Okay. So right, we know that there's not a problem at this point with our plugins. The correct record is making it into the game. So the only thing that means is there has to be a problem with the assets. So the whole reason dark face occurs as an error is that the game looks for the head parts based on the record in XEdit. Okay, so this record is saying go look at this address for the file that you need. And if it can't find the file there, then you get a dark face. Um, and so so first you make sure that the record is right, in this case it is, then you have to make sure that the files are in the correct spot. So um, if, if you notice here, all of these plugins, or sorry, all of these NPCs come from interesting NPC. Um, and that's because in this case, we ran the Darkface Collector off of our main profile. Um, and so, uh, right, so, so all of these are also, if you notice, kids right so these are the kids from interesting npcs and and if we go back to our main profile um what what you'll see um is that rs children is actually active um and so so what's happening is that the the files from rs children are winning uh, and that is wrong. So this is an example of what happens if you run the dark base issue reporter on the wrong profile. Okay, so always run it off of your merge profile. We're going to switch back to that now. Um, let's go back into XEdit and take a look at another example. So you remember how I said that you need to have the NPC appearance output 
active. Well, that's because that mod contains all of the assets uh, that you need, okay? So what, what the plugin actually does is, is it goes through and it says, well, uh, I want, uh, in this case, Bayrand, right? I want Bayrand to come from the, uh, um, to come from, let's scroll down to the head parts, uh, which is here, okay? So uh, you can see that Bayrand, the N, the Northmorn NPCs of Halfanger here, um, is being overwritten by Pandorable Males, but the consistency patch, right? This is the one that we want to win, is actually the same as Northborn NPC's Hopfinger. So, um, so we, we want this file to win. But if you look here in Mod Organizer 2, okay, I'm going to go here to Hopfinger, right? Uh, Pandorable Mails loads after it. So the, the file is going to get overwritten by this one. We don't want that one. So what NPC what plugin chooser does is it actually goes through and copies the correct file if needed and puts it into this mod. So let's go ahead and open it. Um, you know, Bayrand here, his form ID is 13261. So if I go in here and I click conflicts and I go to the advanced tab, there's a filter down here. And I'm going to enter that number. What did I say it was? 13261. And you can see here is the mesh and here is the texture. And it's being over, like this, you know, output overwrites these different mods. Okay, but if this wasn't active, Pandorable Males would be winning, not Halfinger. So you have to make sure that this is active. So the, the first thing to do, if you see a whole bunch of... Uh, names popping up here, make sure that you, you have it active, okay? Um, and so if, if you want to go through and, and troubleshoot this, right, the, the, the full way that you do it is that you actually go to Lexi's website, and if you go to the NPC retextures table, I'm going to open that in a new tab, and in this case we're looking for Bayrand, right? Uh, so I'm going to type his name in here, and you can see it tells you what his form ID is, which mod should win as far as assets, and as far as the plugin. And we can go back and, and verify that, right? The consistency patch is winning. That's what we want. So we verified that the, the, the data in the plugin is correct, right? And then if you go to Northborn Halfinger, double click, type in the number 132. 6 1, and you can see that uh, in this case, Pandorable Males and NPC Appearance Output is active, right? We can actually right click and jump right to the NPC Appearance Output and see that it is winning, okay? So, uh, so in this case, we, we got it right. Um, and, uh, and when I built this, I didn't have it active, okay? So the solution is activate the NPC Appearance Output. Okay, and then a, a, a final example of one is if your merge is actually wrong, okay? So when, when I did this one, um, let's look at Delphine. So Delphine, 13478. I'm going to plug that in here. Delphine, 13478. So Bijan War Maidens uh, should win with assets, and the Bijan AIO 2018 should be the winning plugin. Okay, so let's look uh, here. AIO 2018 is winning, right? It makes it into the final column. Good. Okay, which means that my assets are wrong. So it turns out that when I built this, I didn't have War Maidens correct. Um, and, and if you look here even, right, you can see War Maidens isn't even in here. Okay, so I forgot to have it active. Um, so I just need to go back and do my prepare merge, build the merge correctly, uh, uh, or at least prepare it correctly so that I can then run Darkface Issue Reporter. So hopefully um, this has given you a bit of a framework for how to 
troubleshoot these issues. You know, uh, some other things that I've seen is that people uh, will have downloaded the wrong uh, NPC plugin chooser profile. They've downloaded an old one or it updated before they got to this spot. Uh, so make sure that you, you've done that correctly. Um, and if all else fails, then come over to the Discord uh, and the installation help channel. And uh, we're always happy to help. Hope this has helped. Uh, good luck with the rest of your install.